my amazing Sagittarius. This is Queen of Moonra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Listen, Sagittarius, we are still on a waxing gibbous moon, which is very, very nice. We are 4.5 days away. So we're going to round up to the number five on today. Usually we do numbers on Sundays, but we're going to do a number on today because five is very, very, very important. Yes, very, very important. And so we're going to get right into your reading. I just want to assure you all that you are headed in the right direction. Don't give up. Don't start to second guess yourself. Don't start to question. Whatever seeds you planted, you could have planted seeds of uh, peace, joy, happiness, getting to the bottom of some things, the whole nine yards. But a lot of people around you are starting to see a major change in your mood. And I mean in a good way, Sagittarius. So keep up the good work, okay? Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Sagittarius as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. I am talking to, look at all these cards that flew out the deck. We're going to leave those cards right there because <laughs> there's a message. Oh, more cards. <laughs> what in the world? There's a message. There's a message. What information do we have from our smart, caring, deep thinkers who are also honest, wow, who loves to have fun, generous, idealist, great senses of humor? I'm talking about my archers. I'm talking about you, 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 and you, gods and goddesses. Sagittarius, yes. Your um, duality by default is divine masculine. So that means that you're a giver. And so you're going to choose what you give. Are you going to you're going to choose to give your high vibration or are you going to choose to give low vibration? And a lot of you all are moving towards no longer nurturing low vibration energy because low vibration energy can contaminate you. Let's look here, the judgment card. See how this person has raised to their highest self, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Ascend it to your highest self, which is very, very nice. We're looking at the three of pentacles. See? All right. We're going to make some room here. We have the four of pentacles. Mm -hmm. We also have the ten of wands. Uh-huh. A lot of cards came out. OMG. Nice. A lot of messages coming through. Six of swords. Can you see? Make sure you can see that. Ace of swords. Nice. We have the tower card. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We have the full card in upright. Nice. Okay. Nice, nice, okay. <laughs> All right. We also have the strength card, which is very, very nice. Uh-huh. We also have the five of swords. Uh-huh. We have the temperance card, which is your card, Sagittarius. We also have the Ace of Wands. Dang, I'm going to have to make a lot of room here because it's a lot of information coming through. Ah, we also have the Two of Wands. Make sure it focuses Two of Wands. Yes, we also have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, so you all are completing a cycle, which is great. You know, um, Sagittarius, a lot of times when people are thinking about completing a cycle, they're thinking, okay, I'm so ready. I'm ready for change, right? I'm ready for some, some, some more good things to continue happening in my life. And that's what's happening for you all. King of Wands, which is nice. Let me see if I can get this to focus. King of Wands, uh-huh. Yeah, so there's a lot of fire in your chart. We have the Justice card, which is very nice. Uh-huh. We have the um, World card, which is nice. Things are coming full circle for you, right? We have the Star card, which is attached to the Aquarius. We're going to put it up here next to the Fool card because the Fool card is attached to the planet Uranus, which is one of Aquarius's ruling planets, right? The other one of Aquarius's ruling planets is Saturn, right? Saturn is um, Capricorn and Aquarius's ruling planet. So we're going to put all of this on the same thing because we're going to talk about this right here. We're going to talk about this right here. Some heavy, heavy, heavy Aquarius influence here, right? Hold on for just a second because this is starting to try to act up. Maybe it's too heavy. It could be too heavy. Yeah, it could be too heavy. All right, so... And then we have a few more cards that's um, um, coming out. And then we have the um, Two of Swords. Uh-huh. And we also have the Six of Pentacles, more money. Okay, so when I look at your cards, Sagittarius, like I said, your ruling planet Jupiter is great because Jupiter is the largest planet, right? Not only is it the largest planet, it actually governs expansion. It, it governs what brings us joy, gratitude, honor, wisdom, tolerance, right? That is why 
You all have been so tolerant of people in your past, whether it's family members or whomever, right? Starting with your family, you all have been so tolerant of that, right? You know, trying to give people the benefit of the doubt. But as time goes on, I'm saying that you all have had to cut a lot of people out of your lives, right? Have to just, whether they left you or you left them or you just stopped talking for a while, you just went on ahead and took that sword and said, you know what? I'm taking my power back, right? I'm getting ready to create space for the new new to come into my life, the new energy, whether it's new people, new money, new opportunities, new whatever. But this is what you're all doing, right? Taking that, I see a lot of healing energy here right hopefully you all can see this let me see if i can shift some things around so you can see okay so this right here is like a fresh start a new beginning for you right so some of you all may have aquarius in your chart right fresh start new beginning here i'm seeing right here where uh jupiter i mean sorry not only is your planet jupiter retrograde which is a planet of expansion, but also Saturn is retrograde. So it's really asking you to focus on, it's encouraging you rather, to focus on your long-term goals, your money or your currency or whatever. But it's focusing on primarily healing, right? Healing from any past pains, any past frustrations, any past anything. So in order for you to really completely heal, you all may have said, you know what? And the decision came to use like this quick revelation, right? This is what this tower card is about, this quick revelation. You know what? I haven't talked to that person in a while. I've just been sitting here holding space. You know, like a child who's sitting there waiting for a parent to show up and a parent never shows up. And then there's that disappointment, right? Right, or you're waiting for your date to show up, and the person doesn't. You you're all excited at first, and the person never shows up, and then you're disappointed, or just waiting for a job to call back. You know, you're just in waiting mode, but you finally decided. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut that out of my life, and just go ahead and make space for new things so that I can heal. Right? Part of that energy for you is healing as well, um, Sagittarius. But you had to raise to your highest self to actually see it for what it really is. People that you have severed ties it's not all bad this is what I want to make sure that we are all on the same sheet of music some of the people that <clears throat> excuse me some of the people that you have decided I'm no longer holding space for this energy anymore they're not all bad people some of them are just people you haven't talked to in a long time um some of them are people you're recognizing, hey, we're really not on the same frequency, to be honest. We're not talking about the same things. I have experienced certain things in my life. They've experienced certain things in their life. And it's just like, it's like apples and oranges. It's just not, <laughs> there's just no, we have these uncomfortable like pauses on the phone, you know, that kind of thing, right? And so you had to tap into your strength to tap into that part of you, that fire, that infinite fire. And you see this um, inf this infinity sign right here? Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully the camera catches it. But yes, but you had to raise to your highest self, right? This temp this temperance. You had to really raise to your highest self and then make that like, you know what? I'm okay that I may not ever talk to that person again. I'm okay that I may not ever talk to that family member, that friend, that colleague, whomever that I allowed to come into my energy space. I'm okay that I may never talk to them again, right? But the feeling for you, Sagittarius, is not a feeling of bitterness. It's not a feeling of, you know, I hate them or none of that. It's more of just like this. Like I said, quick revelation. That's what the tower card is for. You see this lightning bolt on this tower card because it's like this. It's like a quick, you know, like quick as a lightning bolt. I just made a decision. I'm not holding space for this energy anymore, right? Some of those people in the past, um, you know, you had on blindfolds, you know, and you didn't really, even though... You all are archers and you see things that people have tried to convince you in the past that you didn't see. At this stage in your life, you're like, I'm removing the blindfolds. I know what I saw. I'm not crazy. I'm not, you know, losing sight of anything. It is what it is. Whether the person admitted to it or not, I'm not even on that. I'm not even on that level anymore. I've ascended higher, you know, and I'm not holding space for it anymore. Because to try to bring something to someone's attention that you saw something that they said you didn't see, it could create a very hostile situation there, right? And so there's, a, there's, there's two sides to this, um, Sagittarius. When, and I'm speaking to the Sagittarius in me as well when I say this. When we bring things to people's attention, like there's certain things that you just know, 
right? When we bring things to people's attention and you already know, or maybe you don't know, it could, it could create a hostile or tense situation. You want to be very careful about how you bring things to people's situation because not everybody is ready for your truth, right? It could be your truth, but it may not be their truth. You see what I'm saying? And so this is not where you're going to bring brutal honesty into it. It's more or less like, you know what, let's talk. This is the feeling that I got from this situation. You're not nervous. You're not scared. You're not, you know, um, you are, you've already meditated on it prior to going into, this is where you're going to tap into your divine feminine side and you're going to meditate on it going into it. You've raised to your highest self. So you already know the outcome, right? You already know for some of those people, it is going to be hostile. And I don't mean volatile where there's going to be a fist fight. There's just going to be a lot of, you know, Know, putting up a lot of guards and no, 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 you're, you're missing it. You're seeing it wrong and cutting you off when you're trying to talk and that kind of thing. Right. And so you being a Sagittarius, being a fire sign, you're not going to sit there and allow somebody to attack you without eventually coming back to that. Right. So you want to keep your vibrations high because there's a lot at stake here. Right. A lot at stake. I see a lot of you all look at this. Let me pick up these cards. All of this is fire. All of this is fire energy. This is Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy, all fire signs, right? I see your business doing extremely well. So you're not going to jeopardize your business doing extremely well by getting into a hostile argument with somebody or like uh, you're not going to bring any hostility into the conversation, right? You're just, okay, it is what it is. I try to bring something to this person's attention, you know, whether it be family member or whomever it was. You know, the, the conversation starts to get tense. That's not what I wanted. And this has nothing to do with somebody playing victim. Because some people play that gaslighting game, right? They, oh my God, you know, they, you're not, we're not even talking about this. We're just talking about just straight up sincerity. You brought something to somebody's attention. And I'm getting like family, like really, really strong and heavy. You bring it to somebody's attention. All of a sudden they start, you know, some of them will be like, you know what, Sagittarius is being, you know, they're being, they may just sit there and listen, right? They may not say anything right away, Sagittarius. You may have some people who all may, who may automatically jump to the defense, right? The person who's not saying anything, they're just in receiving mode. They're just taking in what you're saying, Sagittarius, and they're going to go somewhere. They're going to sit down and think about it and come back and be like, you know what, Sagittarius was right, you know, um, we need to change some things. Like for instance, the pandemic for a lot of people was actually a good thing because they didn't want to go to family functions anyway. They just felt the pressure of having to go to family functions and just, you know, feeling like you were being phony or fake. And so now not having to go or creating the social distances, like, you know what, boom, there's my excuse. I don't have to go. <laughs> I didn't want to be bothered anyway, right? I didn't want to have to go to that, that event. I didn't want to have to go, like some of y'all were like whack event, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Sagittarius. But nevertheless, you're creating space now for, you don't even feel this hostility. You're creating space now for new opportunities. See on this card right here? And too bad I only have two hands. <laughs> so listen, right here, you're thinking about your past, but you're not going backwards, right? This one right here, you're looking out at your future and all the possibilities that go along with your future, which is nice, right? So tons of opportunities coming your way, tons of money coming your way, tons of opportunity to travel. I'm sitting here looking at all of this, these opportunities, all of these are money cards, by the way. So your fire and your intensity has increased. You're like, okay, I'm, it's some of these bridges I need to completely burn so that I can completely heal, completely heal from all of this, right? Money, I'm seeing you travel. I'm seeing perfect synergy for you in the workplace. So if you have your business, you know, so this is where I want you all to understand that you're moving closer and closer towards a full moon. The next full moon is in 4.5 days, but we're just ramping up to the number five, right? Speaking of number five, five is very important because five, <clears throat> excuse me, this is where you're going to be start seeing signs like 1111, 11, you know, numbers in sync, right? You can see 222, 333, 444 can end up on a receipt for gas, for your groceries or whatever. All of those master numbers that you're coming, or those numbers in sync are signs for you to raise your frequency. There's something at a higher level that the universe wants you to start seeing. So be very sensitive to what your what signs come across. It can come in a, in a form of lights blinking on and off. Something can fall off of a countertop. All of a sudden you can feel air, I mean like wind blowing and you don't have any windows open and the air conditioner is not on. You know what I'm saying? Like that. 
Um, messages can come like through dreams, very vivid. So pay attention. But the number five actually represents, it's a visual representation of a pivot point, representing versatility, movement, decisions, risk, new beginning of some kind. And remember I said you all are at the end of a cycle. The number nine represents the end of a cycle. So you're at the tail end of a long and arduous path that you have been on for self-discovery. So bringing certain things up to certain people, you have already meditate. Where's the card? You have already meditated on it. You've raised to your highest self in meditation. You've already meditated on it even before approaching the person to even discuss it. So you already kind of know from dealing with them how the outcome is going to be because you've already decided, hey, if they get hostile, I'm going to go ahead and burn that bridge to a crisp. If they don't and they're open to listening, like some people will be open, some people will not. You know what I'm saying? So let's pull an oracle card, Sagittarius, and let's close out your reading. But your reading looks really, really good. It's like you're making space like out with the old in with the new. And some of the out with the old old is even taking offense to people who are not ready to ascend to the level that you're ready to ascend to, right? Here we have the dream journal, right? So dream journals are really, really good. The number 20, oh, right? 20. Uh, we know that the, the number zero behind any number expands that number, right? So two is like you and God, you and the most high God. But again, um, You've already meditated on this, so you've already decided in your spirit, hey, if the person becomes very hostile, that's the end of the friendship, that's the end of my relationship with this family member, that's the end of my romantic relationship, I'm not going back, I'm no longer holding space for that, and you're okay with that, you're not meeting them with that same energy, right? Um, you also recognize that they're quiet and they're just kind of sort of in receiving mode, just listening, that... You know, they may actually end up being your greatest ally. Let's say, like I said in one of my pre previous videos, you got some family members who are your greatest allies now because they're like, you know what, Sagittarius wasn't lying. So you're ready for this new chapter of your life and you're ready to hold space for new friends and new family. And I mean, when I say family members, I'm talking about new soul tribes, right? Who may not be blood relatives, but you're ready for this new energy. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Have a great one. Bye.